We don't know how to get out. Hey, we are Mary and Sasha, two Germans who sold everything to give their dream of being full-time travel YouTubers a shot. We recently came back from six months of traveling Central America. Moved into an old but gold van named Goldie, ready to tackle our goal of driving her from our home country Germany all across Europe to Istanbul. And if you missed our last episode, we've just started this van life adventure in the vibrant multiculti capital Berlin, trying to find the best traditional German currywurst of all. Today we are finally heading off to a new country on our list. Welcome to our first stop in Krakow, Poland. Have arrived. So as you know, we were in this old cathedral in Bogota and when we heard in Krakow there is something similar, we of course wanted to come here. So it's a half an hour ride from Krakow center to the salt mine. So let's see how it holds up against the Colombian version of the salt mine, which was really incredible. We were a bit lost. Which is the entrance? That looks like an entrance. That looks like an entrance. But I think this is it. Okay, we made it. We finally got our tickets. <laughs> we also got a tour which went pretty well with our time schedule. So we have half an hour to chill here and we bought an apple juice, a water and two coffee. And we paid eight bucks at this touristy place, which is amazing. So Poland prices now drink coffee and have a up to four hour tour. It's an English tour, so you will hopefully understand a lot and enjoy too. We are pretty excited. First big difference to Colombia, there you could just go in, buy the ticket, go in, and here you need to book a tour. Have you heard? 14 degrees. Uh huh. Yeah, Hope you don't want your jacket it. back. Uh huh. Such so I just brought back all our jackets because they were pretty heavy and probably want to have them back now. Crying all Polish here. And a lot of people are so happy if you say thanks yeah, in yeah. Polish and they're like, woo! <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I made it. That's <laughs> something exactly. a different language. <laughs> Same for me when I got the coffee. It was also a jinku here, and you were jinku here, cool. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, trying out my new backpack here. <laughs> Doing good in your backpack. How do you like Maddie's new backpack, huh? She got it for her birthday. And thanks to all of you who commented under the under the post that it's her birthday. Mm. Sasha's getting nauseous. We're running down here. So. <laughs> now I'm back to normal. Yeah. Definitely a different experience from the Columbia version. These are air locks that serve artificial uh, ventilation purposes. They simply regulate the air. Well thought of. Mm -hmm. The Colombians, they were just go in there. <laughs> we don't need ventilation. Like That's why really we got so dizzy, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. Spooky. Looks like a little castle. 300 kilometers of passageways, over 2,000 uh, chambers, 2,000 empty spaces left by miners, and nine levels. The deepest point, 327 meters. The mines is basically as uh, deep as the Eiffel Tower. Nah, it's tall. Perfectly fit in here. I'm so tiny. Okay, watch your head. <laughs> I'm fine. <sighs> Copernicus was the first famous tourist visiting the salt mine. This is why he got the first statue here. And we also learned um, all the wood here supports the cave. Of, co of course, we can we can figure that. But also because of the salt, it dries out and makes the wood as solid as stone. So if you go there, like crazy, right? It was really cool that the whole statue is made out of salt. And if you put a light on there, a lamp, something, it's translucent. But it doesn't look like it in the dark. That's crazy cool. So cool, man. Uh -huh. I'm very happy we did it. But yeah. comparable with Com Colombia because it's so different, both cool. Same, same, but different, huh? Uh huh. Really cool. And so much older. 
than the one in Colombia that was like, I don't know, 200 years old maybe? Uh -huh. or this one is like 400? This is 500, I don't know, four or 500 years old. It's really crazy. It's cool, they even have bricks out of this hole here. Now I need the toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Too much coffee. I'm on it! Yeah, I peed as fast as I could. We just learned about all the health benefits of this salty air down here. It's really good. It helps you preserve your body. Helps and with asthma and exactly. all kind of lung problems. Kills People bacteria. Come down here. They actually have on level three of this mine a sort of clinic when you have asthma. You go there and then you get treated. It's crazy, right? Just by the air of all around you. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's under aging. Mm, anti aging. This is so cool. At the end of that, 13. Some ancient salt mine here. Huh? 6,000 years ago, they started like this. And we learned the oldest salt mine in Europe is in Salzburg which is in Austria. Yeah, and it's 5,000 years old. Crazy. So cool. As usual, we're so slow that we're losing the group. <laughs> This is like the salt mine people worked. You can see the mm -hmm. tools. It's like a real right. salt mine tool, and the other was more a church, church yeah. with art and light work. Okay, we're always talking about the salt mine in Colombia, and if you wonder what we're talking about, we link the video here. Watch it first. It's a cathedral in an old salt mine. It was so beautiful in Colombia. So then you know what we're talking about all the time here. Check it out. Other than that, let's go on. And if you want to see some more pictures of this salt mine and the other salt mine and everything else that is involved in our travel, check out our Instagram. It's also Maddie and Sasha. We're gonna link it below. The chandelier is made out of salt crystals. I need that in my house later. Oh. Wow. That's rare. So much for not being an underground church. It is an underground church and it's beautiful with the chandeliers. Yeah. Wow. Actually, I think like if you have time here and some nice outfits, this is all perfect for Instagram. It's massive and it's so nice. Look at that, man. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Poland, man. So far, our impression from Poland is so positive. It's just so great. Great food. Yeah, they got the best pork sausages in the entire world, probably. Yesterday, we learned from our Bulgarian friend that the Polish people, it's basically a religion for them. We can definitely say that's the case. Yesterday, we've had some pork sausages. Mwah, delicious. And this here and everything. Wow. Poland, you're the best. So if you do the tour here, it's very, very interesting, it's guided, but here in this big chamber, you have a couple of minutes to explore everything, which is super nice. We were just talking, but I guess it's, it's a matter of fact that Jesus is the biggest influencer of all time, maybe. Sasha and his jokes. I look so, so nice, man. It's the Alpha and the Omega, huh? Again, quoting religion, man. Where do I, where do I take that from? For not considering myself uh, really religious, I find myself an awful lot in places like this. What? <laughs> what? Crazy. Guys, look at it. This is all, all trees. It's enormous. It's amazing. And I really want all of these chandeliers. We don't know how to get out. <laughs> oh, 
for quiet now. Oh. 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 <laughs> Everything falling down, crumbling. She said swimming is allowed, everything is secure. Yeah. We shouldn't be afraid. Because it's European! Yes. Yeah, we, we softened our. It's German, it's European, yeah. <laughs> it's the best. Right, it is. How oh, crazy. Okay. Fold mine's lead food stands and gelato, as you know. Yes, and some gift shops. Do you want salt from the salt mine to crush on your food? I mean, it's anti aging. <laughs> anti aging. And I actually think the prices are kind of fair. Like for souvenirs, three bucks. Actually, would like to buy pretzels and go to the other chamber back and eat my pretzels and hear my chewing as loud as never before. <laughs> Just as an experience. That's weird. Man, Goethe was the minister of geology in Weimar. I didn't know that. No. And Chopin was Polish and then moved to Paris. Why didn't I know? So I think we can already say, huh? If you're in Krakow, make sure to go to the salt mine. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's got so much history. And I don't know. It's just it's just great. Guys, come to Poland, come to Krakow, come to the salt mine. It's just really great. Oh, no. <laughs> that was close. Just disappeared, just like that, into the stone. Make it famous, come here, you heard her. If you haven't heard her, come here, <laughs> make it famous. So, it was a really lovely tour, we had, a, <laughs> we had an awesome guide, yeah, she was perfect. That's it, it was really amazing, I would recommend to everybody. If you haven't liked the video, do so, make sure to subscribe, it's free. Hey Maddie. Here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere, <laughs> click the button please. I think here. See you guys in the next one, and make sure to visit this place here. Promise. If you're in Poland, if you're in Krakow, come here. It's it's very nice. It's like 25 euros per person, but it's totally worth it. Have a good one. See you in the next one. <laughs>